Hello traders, it's Samurai Trader here. Welcome to this members Q&A session. Plus, we've had quite a number of new members join us in the last couple of weeks. So just wanted to cover some tips and ideas for new members because I tend to find that uh, with some of the email support I give, the same questions have been coming through even though we've covered it comprehensively on other videos. Um, I'm going to recover it once again if that's the word I can use. I'm going to recap it once again as an update. Now also if you're uh, an existing member you will want to watch this section as well as a reminder because there are so many changes so many new materials coming in as always members we need to put up the risk uh, understanding the risk there is a risk in trading and of course uh, most of you have seen this on uh, every video we record but if you haven't read this risk disclaimer for some time or if you're a brand new member or new to our channel please make sure that you do read the risk disclaimer in full so very very important for new members that you make sure that you are subscribed to my youtube channel so that way as i post new videos particularly not in the private mode in the membership mode but uh, for the general public you're also kept up to date with some of those because some of the general public videos also have a ton of information uh, on them now also remember for members to uh, check on my Google Drive which we'll cover in a moment for new recordings because as you're about to see I do new recordings uh, most weeks now sorry if I cut out a couple of seconds ago because I just had the telephone start to ring so once again please subscribe to my channel now just in case you are a member of the general public uh, just um, uh, please visit my website you'll be able to get my two free ebooks and even more importantly for $197 you get all of our indicators and everything I'm about to uh, show our members now uh, it's unlikely you'll be watching but if you are a member of the general public uh, welcome so let's get back on with this we've got a lot to cover today so first of all what is really important is this that you approach learning or mastering the art of day trading and swing trading with an open mind they say that the sign of an intelligent person is how open they are to new ideas now being open to a new idea doesn't mean you don't verify the idea but you approach things with an open mind and one of the challenges that many traders have uh, and over 70 percent of my traders are experienced traders is they're jaded they've burnt their account a number of times and so therefore they, they are and believe it or not traders they suffer from psychological damage it's true you look you go and blow your account two or three times and your self-esteem takes the battering and it really affects you okay so it means that you need to basically draw a line in the sand and say no more uh, we're I'm going to restart but you need to be open-minded to do that now just remember just that one idea that we teach that one idea uh, may change your future forever your financial future now of course in the day traders fast track program you're going to learn hundreds of ideas and strategies and techniques um, over a period of time but that's why in a moment we're going to look at you need to be taking notes but let me come to that in a moment now just remember as we move on we become what we focus on and what we think about so ask yourself intelligent empowering questions uh, rather than say to yourself this will never work oh, I've tried this right they're called disempowering statements and at times questions which unfortunately so many people in this world um, uh, frame their lives around instead we need to ask ourselves empowering questions such as what can I learn from this how can I use this what's great about this for an example if you are an experienced trader don't put aside all of the ideas and strategies and techniques you already own or know look at what we're going to teach you in the day traders fast track program and say how can I use this to improve what I'm doing how can I use this to improve what I already know all of a sudden you're reframing your questions they're intelligent questions and the mind is in a magnificent um, machine it's the most powerful computer in the world what you shove into it is what you get out all of a sudden you start asking yourself intelligent questions empowering questions and you start to get some pretty intelligent answers it's very very important so remember new members and existing members don't forget that it's very important 
now I mentioned and just started to mention about taking notes now as you go through the program and as you watch my videos and not only my videos or read my materials as you uh, read any book on trading or watch any recording on YouTube um, I have dozens and anyone that's been to my office will see I've got three bookshelves now of notes I go through a spiral notebook about every two months now that sometimes every six weeks where every time I trade I take notes every time I run a training session uh, I have a spiral notebook see so just for general notes during the day and so I've got my R&D and live trading book so I have one for live trading where I'll take down notes of a good the bad and the ugly I call it then I'll have my research and development ideas and the answers or the things I've got out of a research or jot down then I'll go back and review those notes now notes notice they're not pads you use a pad and you end up with paper and crap everywhere the notebooks are great you can go back you can, can date them uh, and things are kept clean and tidy it's just so important that you take notes likewise please make sure you're armed if you don't have uh, right now to take notes if you don't have a spiral notebook get down the staples um, uh, get down to office works wherever whatever your store is and please start using spiral out notebooks now what we're now going to do is quickly go and review a couple of things on the members area because we're adding to it all the time and we talk about um, upgrading it and getting it better organized but quite frankly you know I've only got a few staff and um, uh, it keeps me very very busy so it might take you a little longer to get yourself around various aspects of their program yes some of it may be a little disorganized but you know what there's a ton of resources here there's years and years of research so don't be blinded by something if you can't easily find it so and for existing members I want you to make sure that you watch this before we get to the Q&A we've got probably five or six questions from members we're going to cover today in the Q&A at the end of this um, but I want you to stay with me as I go through the members area because there are changes underway and there's some added resources that that I've added now first of all what we're looking at here is the members area so um, uh, if you're a new member of course you've been given a temporary password you then create your own password and when you log in this is what you see now there are two membership areas okay or levels we've got the live educational room for those that pay a monthly fee and they then attend our live room where we're teaching traders how to trade our strategies in real time and then that's what we call our platinum members then we've got our gold members which just own the program that made an investment of $197 and they get just this ton of stuff okay and of course many of you may decide to um, uh, become members of the educational room that's totally up to you but so there are two levels but let me show you what you all get so first of all you log in and you want to go to the day traders fast track program so that's what you want to click on so you're going to click on there and initially when I sent the program out uh, I would send it out as 19 emails okay so there was the body of the emails uh, in there which we're going to look at in a moment um, and there were links and um, attachments to those emails so that's all now embedded on the website but I want to show you a couple of critical things very important traders please watch these intro videos now some of them are repeating some things that I'm telling you right now so yes some of them are 32 minutes you know what some of my recordings are over an hour but approach it with what can I learn from this pace yourself very very important don't be overwhelmed you know it's this is very very important that your approach this is the greatest project you've ever approached in your life because it's offering you the greatest income potential of your life so start with this first video then go to email one okay right now on there email one down the bottom there let me click on this once again thank you for your order okay and then there's a whole lot of things down there there's links and there's PDFs. so click on each of these click on or check all the PDF links below so you can click on those then it will take you to a PDF or something you can download now virtually every one of these videos has uh, links at the bottom sorry every one of these emails sorry has links 
down at the bottom so very very important you take the time uh, you go through now for example on email to so this is email to and this is probably one of the most important ones email to has the cheat sheets to my top trading strategies okay so you've got PDF cheat sheets there so you click on each of those and you can download it and it will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to trade these named trading strategies now by the way the slingshot here is is called the t2 and the super scalper is the t1 unfortunately when I prepared these I didn't put the, the codes on them correctly it is embedded in the PDF but just of the thing at the um, uh, the little links here so the slingshot is the t2 setup and the super scalper is the t1 so when you click on those embedded within those PDFs you can have them online on your PC of course and you can print them out is the links to the videos okay now what I want you to do is to go through every one of these and take your time there's spreadsheets of um, training videos for an example I won't open it up because it shows all the links there is an Excel spreadsheet here on email 4 with over 210 recordings on it videos that I've done over the last few years um, Q&A sessions specific sessions on trading Forex uh, and by the way when you go and look at the spreadsheet on the left hand side you'll see there that it usually gives the title you see it's either a Q&A now remember many of the Q&A's we talk about trading Forex futures okay and futures so um, you can also in your journal your trading book write down the videos you've watched the whether it be um, number 201 or, or 87 or 84 just so you're not going back oh have I watched that one or not so once again jot it down so at the top of the page um, in your trading journal write down which video number it is etc this stuff there on NLP now another very very important one is email 17 now in email 17 uh, there is an external link to my Google Drive uh, where we've got a ton of resources but there's also a document there uh, called and I'm pretty certain it's down the bottom let me just it is it won't, it won't even go down the bottom here um, let's see here that um, Google Drive sorting now this Google Drive sorting uh, this allows you to sort by order of date everything on my Google Drive that we're going to be looking at so we'll go to that in a moment so you're gonna be looking for Google Drive in six so start with one what's the video this intro video then the idiot video um, in email one uh, so you got this one there's another one and yes as I mentioned some of its repeat repeated but it's very very important now the next thing then is your indicators now the only indicators we've ever had to um, actually have coded specially is the T1 the super scalper otherwise many of the indicators we have here were provided by other members for sharing with members the standard indicators maybe um, uh, and, and, and indicator settings by the right way are in all of the cheat sheets and the PDFs and the slideshows which I'm going to show you in a moment so you can download your indicators directly here but uh, yeah so anyway that pretty much explains itself now uh, here also is live recorded uh, sessions this is from our training room now what we've now got is we do recorded sessions most weeks now these are now available to all members okay now it's not a ton of them in there but there's absolutely some some golden gems on on live trading here in these so all members have access to these so please go and watch those now the next thing is the Google Drive so let's quickly look at that because this is where um, you're going to start to see the massive value besides the 19 emails and links and the actual course itself here is just years of R&D here now I want to direct you to this one here called trading strategies this folder down here called trading strategies um, uh, trading strategy videos so you click on those and you'll come up and you'll see the links to those okay so uh, so the links are there to all of the videos that we have um, uh, for new members 
okay so I won't um, hold them up too long but you've got so you can pretty much see there and I don't want to make this video too long so there's new membership and there's recent strategies all new members should be watching these and existing members should also be going and watching every one of these videos so it's in the training strategy videos all new members please watch them because it's, it's just a ton of stuff in there now then you've got there a, a folder called strategy powerpoints now for existing members not just new members existing ones we are adding uh, we've added quite a few here so you can see the t25 the t20 t19 the t7 the t3 the t2 the t so you can see here we've got very very comprehensive downloadable powerpoints and a lot of these are related back to the videos that we've recorded on the various setups so besides the cheat sheets that we have we've also got um, uh, PowerPoint videos as well as additional videos so you know there's a ton of stuff here then we get to we've got a ton of books and PDFs on trading psychology please make sure you read those now there's also then uh, where are we here where's the other folder here we go okay trading ebooks there is a ton of stuff in now some of it some of these are on psychology as well and also personal development um, awaken a giant within you've got one good trade the disciplined trader this should be your Bible by the way from a psychological point of view and please remember when it comes to trading 90% is head stuff All right we need to give ourselves self a regular checkup for the neck up because we suffer from a hardening of the attitudes okay so uh, we need to study that book and uh, the great late Mark Douglas who passed away only a couple of years ago he wrote that book it's an absolute essential ebook and even better still go and buy the actual book itself so you've got a mixture of different books here uh, on these now if we get back to the members area then we've got a whole lot of stuff here that I've uploaded over a period of time so you scroll down uh, and by the way there's research up in these folders these are all individual folders okay you've got just stuff there on the trade master too you got on the 34b in the research Sierra charts you've got a ton of stuff some additional indicators we've got think or swim uh, some members have sent us stuff in uh, Tuesday and Thursday um, uh, webinar links so look traders is just a ton of stuff there take your time and once again don't feel overwhelmed um, uh, go through and get go and there's a little folder here with the PDF with Google Drive sorting how to sort your Google Drive or this Google Drive um, now by the way we're migrating all of this into the members area at the moment so in the next week or so you actually it won't be on the Google Drive but it'll be set up in the members area exactly the same um, so we've got here um, uh, members area recordings but and then what I do trade is as I record new sessions each week I then upload them and put them here so you'll click for an example on here we'll see here that there's a recap a 40 minute recap the link only etc there and uh, and with that point with the spreadsheet of videos I mentioned is over 200 all of the recordings here and there are dozens of them are all being updated by my team at the moment so you'll get to see them all on um, uh, the one spreadsheet however there are new updates all the time new recordings and this is where I update them so so you'll see them they'll be on the right and if you sort your Google Drive correctly they're, they're sorry they're on the left here by date but if you scroll down there's just a ton of stuff here all right there's research there's chart patterns there's um, news there's charts and, and points on the charts there's traders guides is now some of these PDFs have been put in into other folders as well now there's positive statements member feedback okay as you can perhaps just get an idea how many how much material or how much material there there really is oh and there's is one here there's my <laughs> uh, very quickly my daughter's an actress this is my beautiful wife by the way got to show this one and my daughter and this is at a red carpet event of a movie that she's got a major role in so uh, yeah that's my daughter Kiara my wife Kylie so anyway getting back to this all right so 
once again you'll see that take your time in going through the membership resources there's just a ton of stuff there um, and once again you've gained access of all of this for $197 all right and it's been added to so it's it's just massive massive value now by the way I want your testimonials uh, as you go through this um, you really I don't ask for testimonials I know my marketing people say go out to your database and ask for testimonials I don't do that but please send them in as you get in results I just love to get this feedback this is my passion this is something that I absolutely love doing as you probably tell and this is what drives me and irrespective of crap that people say there is no upsell I don't attempt to sell you my um, coaching program yes I do one-to-one -one coaching but that's people that have come to me and requested it and it's expensive but because I'm so busy doing the research doing the trading it's not what I focus my life on but there is no upsell so relax focus on learning how to trade using my materials so now you've seen that let's now get back to uh, the Q&A some other very important things that have that have come up um, that I wanted to really cover and I know members I'm recovering some of the material and some you've already seen in videos but hey that's okay repetition is the mother of learning it's how we pick things up but once again if you pick up just one thing you've forgotten and that's why we should go back and review the books and the manuals and our trading notes because quite often we know something we've just forgotten it's good to be reminded so don't be overwhelmed you've got one of the greatest incredible opportunities before you so take your time going through it whether it be one hour a day or three or four hours a day don't forget that after you study four hours a day your learning ability drops dramatically it's like with trading with day trading once you've been at your screen more than four hours you're going to start making mistakes and we talk about this in psychology sessions in the program it's called ego depletion not ego is in the person but what it's been proven is we tend to make some critical bad mistakes including me and I'm going to show you one in a moment because there's a point behind it when you get tired now very important you treat this as a 90 100 and day 180 day internship so let me say that again treat this as a 90 to 180 day internship I get traders emailing me after three days asking very basic questions that are covered in the materials because they want to jump the queue there yes I can fast track you but there's I, what, what I can't do is put all of this stuff in your head overnight uh, and there's one other thing that I can't give you I can give you the world's best trading strategies methodologies and techniques but I can't give you screen time you need to get screen time in front of a screen um, uh, doing your back testing um, uh, using the simulator etc so treat it as a 90 to 180 day internship so and this really leads into this that mastery is the key to success not only in trading but in life in general but so many traders not willing to take the time to master their trading strategies now I want you to remember what I call the rule of 100 the rule of 100 is to use the simulator and um, to in the simulator to execute the trading methodology 100 times in real market conditions before you go live and that, now they don't have to be 100 winning trades in a row but I want you to execute 100 times where you follow your rules flawlessly if you break the rules you've got to go back and experience traders I'm talking to you especially um, you know what it's like with impulse trades and I talk a lot about impulse trades um, uh, in psychology sessions and other sessions doing Q and A's and um, the member sessions but very very important that you develop a new set of habits to be truly successful in this game traders there are literally hundreds of trading systems that really do work there are but it's us the human aspect of trading that lets us down so back testing uh, all the strategies I show you go and look at them verify them don't take my word at it go back and verify the strategy um, and you need to apply it at least 100 times because virtually everything I teach you and everything you're learning is based upon geometric patterns price patterns that you see in the market not based upon math but based upon visual patterns and patterns that repeat themselves in the market each and every day so it's very important you do your back testing you learn to train yourself to recognize these patterns and then to use 
and and execute using the simulator it's very very important you take that that step remember the markets are going to be here next month in six months times next year and the year after very very important that you build the foundation properly <coughs> now um, this is a chart from just a few days ago uh, a major stuff up that I that I made when I shorted a trade um, and there's a couple of things here two lessons in this well one's a suggestion and one's a lesson traders don't trade when you're tired um, uh, this trade I think it was about um, I can't remember exactly what time we put this off and we were doing live trading now even though this one was in sim on the simulator I was doing a live training session but the point was with the traders was I was hard up and I and I shorted right against our major EMAs um, and it was just a silly silly mistake at the time uh, I was tired that the lesson here is you've got to be fresh if you're emotionally upset or tired don't trade maybe read your books and maybe do some R&D research and development but don't trade and it's just something that um, uh, bad short trade right at the two and I was teaching some members at the time but the point was I missed it and um, uh, yeah so that's that's the first thing don't trade when you're tired limit yourself and that's the thing I tend to find some traders are that excited they'll spend 12 hours straight looking at charts and and they wonder why it's not clicking or they're making mistakes the second thing here is take snapshots of your trades either you can get snag it or even better still you can buy snag it for $49 where you can record your trades and you can even edit it's a lot cheaper than Camtasia so it's snag it the recording version 49 US dollars go back at the end of the day and do a quick two-minute recording recording of your trades and notes and things that you mark up for an example here you'll see uh, uh, that was a 34b you had a lower high here that was a t3 and a 200b that then turned into a um, into a t7 a bit the farm trade we call it um, so you can take notes uh, and you can, it's easy then to uh, sorry on the charts save the charts or record them even better and open a folder on your um, computer called charts to study and go back regularly and study the charts um, it'll just it's a great refresher just like pilots they send you back into the simulator regularly now the next thing here and talk about pilots consider yourself you're a pilot where you're reviewing focus review um, uh, focus so all of the um, uh, the notes and things like here in front of you there's a, there's a uh, spiral little spiral bound binder there with chart patterns I love patterns there's a couple of them my trading type trading notes uh, I give you a ton of stuff in the program uh, type up the others what type up your trading plan on the right there I then have one of my trading journals with a highlighter and my pen I draw draw a line down the side there where I'll number certain things if I want to go back and review I'll highlight things all right this is a business um, you've got to approach your trading with the zeal of a crusader and as if you're a pilot or a doctor or any other professional it's you've got to, it's just so important in this business you do this next thing red flags so this is one of the questions from members can I please just remind them on the red flags where I get them from okay there are two sites that I visit every day before our trading um, session uh, or before we go live is forexfactory.com and econo day so we can see what red flags we have and in my opinion they're the two best sites for forex and futures traders uh, you can use them for stock traders and I there's another so oh gee I've just got my mind's gone blank on what we use for the stock traders but anyway sorry about that stock traders watching this but for forex traders forex factory uh, now even if you're a futures trader still look at forex factory and uh, very very important all traders check it kind of day as well absolutely critical now the next thing I want to show you is this now I don't want to impress you here and that's not the purpose you've, you're already a member okay so you've already purchased my program but the thing is I have hundreds of books this is only a part of what you see in my library and research manuals so I've got tons of stuff I've got and what you see here is there's 10 times that on my PC um, I've got in my hard drives I've got memory sticks full of this stuff but it leads into the next thing I wanted to bring up I've done the research for you okay I've done the research and development and I've employed full-time staff um, uh, in this area in back testing trading systems for the trading industry funds management industry so I've done this massive amount of work for you 
if it was something better for day traders that I knew of or if I see an indicator or a strategy which is so damn rare um, uh, because in the end indicators well I'm going down another road are all derivatives of price anyway but the point is here if there's something better you'll find out about it members send me um, uh, information in to me uh, ideas and strategies to, for me to review and if it's great I'll give it a tick off but I haven't ticked something else off for months and months um, so I'm giving it to you and this leads into this if you are new we get a lot of new traders come here they're not quite sure where to start if you're interested in Forex baby pips uh, .com, education session section let me sorry education section is where you'll start baby pit will teach you uh, a lot more about the basics than what I do I, I'm about teaching you the strategies yes I'll talk to you about the psychology but some of the real basic stuff is is absolutely outstanding and leading up to even to intermediate on babypips.com go to their education section but as I say here don't kick get caught up with the new shiny object syndrome we've done the R&D for you meaning the new shiny object syndrome in this business is oh there's a new strategy oh there's a new indicator oh here's a new idea traders in the day traders fast track program the top trading strategies I give you the top 12 it's there already you don't need to look for anything else all right unfortunately some traders they'll um, maybe learn a strategy have four losing trades in a row then start looking for the next new shiny strategy traders it's you're gonna have a run of four and five losses that is trading and that's where training comes into it and we're going to talk about that in a moment as we cover a couple of questions in the Q&A session um, uh, from members so as I refer to you and as I quite often will say even in if, if I bring up say something on range charts and you think shoot range charts um go and look it up on YouTube what are range charts or on Google but don't get caught up with buying something from someone that gives you some information on the internet okay and uh, and I bring that up because so many of you have come here just with a thirst for knowledge which thank you for it and thank you for trusting me and becoming a member but there is no need to buy anymore now here I'm not telling you this because I want your money because guess what there's nothing else to buy from me so this is why you got to listen to me you've already become a member there's nothing more for you to buy from me so um, I'm giving you this as your friend as your coach okay I'm telling you this don't buy any more study what you've got here because everything you need is here we've done the R&D so it's by all means Google and YouTube various things that I might talk about to get a really deeper understanding but um, but if it's put on by somebody selling an indicator or another educational vendor don't buy it <laughs> okay all right now um, I brought this up um, this slide here tips and ideas for trading the t7 this is just a reminder just that I do new videos every usually every second week at worst but I've been doing a lot more uh, at least once a week I'm doing new videos some for the general public some for members only uh, and I upload them for all members into the Google Drive so um, this is a video I just uh, did yesterday on trading what we call the bet the farm strategy and so as a reminder check on the Google Drive um, and very soon as I said it won't be on the drive it's going to be in a new area on the website called new recordings so you'll be able to go and look for those but don't forget and that's why I wanted all existing members just as a reminder there's always new stuff coming out now very quickly here is this is particularly for newer members trading is really easy buy the dips and sell the rallies the trend is my friend now as you know in our program you get over 12 strategies I don't know the 16 or 17 now but you've got a core amount of strategies your core number of strategies are the best of the best now become a specialist focus on two or three strategies until you're consistently profitable now it doesn't matter whether you're a futures stock or Forex trader the strategies work on all markets okay um, if you were to remove the name off a chart and show it to a stock trader uh, or to a future futures trader or Forex trader where you couldn't see what market it was they nearly all look the same yes I know that different markets have different personalities but overall 
the structural under the underlying structure of each market is the same so um, I want you to focus I don't want you to come getting back to this being overwhelmed now in email two, I have um, on that's embedded on the site which you saw when you first log in so email two has got the cheat sheets to my top strategies then you go and look at the PowerPoint section so t1 t2 t1 is the super scalper t2 is the slingshot okay um, and t7 with trends at double top double bottom so these are your trend trades now for the Forex traders all of these you want to use and by the way the 34 B is probably the number one setup we have so and for the forex trade is the rule of two on range charts rule of two works an absolute treat on say for an example the four range which we're going to look at in the Q&A section in a moment for answering a couple of questions so the rule of two I love on forex and I prefer um, uh, range and tick for forex over time based charts unless you're a swing trader so focus on uh, learning your 34 B your t2 um, uh, this sort of and, and your 89b so let me get that <laughs> okay so actually this four let me say it again sorry as always traders all my videos raw real direct and unedited there's no script 34b 89b uh, the t1 and the t2 focus on those four they're all related they're all trend following trade trades anyway the next one is this is something that I have printed out and in front of me as I trade I'm patient I'm disciplined I'm focused I'm a sniper one shot one kill I'm a rules-based pattern trader traders as traders we've developed the the habit of hunters as human beings we're hunters it's very very hard for us to sit back and wait for the trade to us to come to us and that's something that we need to do as traders we need to wait for the trade to come to us it's very very important that we were a sniper now uh, actually yesterday it is by the way it's um the uh the 7th of the 6th 7th of june today and um on cl on tuesday's price action it was really the morning was was just a shocker just a terrible trading range I'm actually doing a recording on it um, uh, based on um, how to spot tight trading range what to do about it so um, my point there is that you've one of the members uh, said um, in our training room he said I keep writing down that I've got to be patient I've got to be patient I've got to be patient or a statement of that effect because that's just so important we get you know trigger fingers we want to you know fire off and get a trade and like that stuff up that I showed you on that chart uh, I was tired and um, you know all the main thing there was being tired but I had an itchy finger and I off it went fired off a trade and it bounced even though that was on in the simulator that particular trade it doesn't matter I'm beating myself up because you've got to really watch your habits when you're trading a live account so that's something hopefully you can use print something like that out um, it's just very important remember our business is 90% head stuff now moving on to some of the questions in the Q&A section before we go and look at a couple of things quickly on the charts which market futures or Forex this comes up nearly every day from new members existing members and those that are looking at joining our program futures or Forex traders I believe without doubt the best market in the world to trade are the futures markets uh, the European markets the US markets um, uh, the black gold being oil CL the ES the NQ uh, trading the um, uh, currency futures being the euro and the yen um, I believe it's they're the best markets in the world you're dealing directly with the exchange now this is one thing for our European clients I want you to be aware of here a lot of European brokers or let's say a lot a number of the largest European brokers are basically market makers and some of them even have got it set up in the back end that you can trade a futures contract and they have a spread on it rather than a straight commission in my opinion this is my opinion I'm not a broker here but in my humble opinion the best Forex bro sorry the best futures brokers let me say that again the best futures brokers are the USA brokers they're the most heavily regulated brokers in the world today 
um, uh, the NFA the CFTC uh, they can now gain access to a broker's account to see the account balances at any time and this is where PFG best fell over you may remember um, more over a hundred million dollar fraud committed over a number of years only a couple of years ago where it all come tumbling down when on the Monday before his supposedly attempted suicide they were going to start gaining electronic um, access to his bank accounts for, for checking balances they were doing it to all brokers so the US market is the best but also you're dealing directly with the exchange your broker um, handles the technology but there are no market makers and the commissions are so damn competitive you're paying well under five dollars down to as low as 340 or something like that in commissions now uh, uh, round turn so it's very very competitive um, and so something I'd strongly recommend you look at but you need to have between three and five thousand per contract you trade that's one of the the downfalls now if you're looking for a small account or if you've only got a small account or maybe 500 to a thousand it's yes yeah, sure you're not it's going to be tough to make money but it's a great way uh, trading Forex to cut your teeth because the strategies all work on Forex but if you've got a larger account uh, consider looking at futures but if already you've mastered the Forex market you're very very good at that stay with it I'm not saying you should move stick with what you know best if you're in the black but with Forex of course you can start with 500 to a thousand dollars you can start using uh, trading either a micro a mini or a standard lot uh, 10 cents a pip a dollar a pip up to ten dollars so for a the Forex market is a great market starting with a lower account and building um, uh, your knowledge base building your account size but very very important traders if you start um, with certainly a $500 account and you're trading micros all right uh, 10 cents a pip for, to cut your teeth to get used to executing the platform whatever what is very very important if you're in demo or if you're trading a mini account and this goes for all traders whether you're a futures or a forex trader when you're using the simulator assume it's real money and here is why when you're using the simulator you are hard wiring trading habits you are it's so true you are hard wiring trading habits that you will carry with you when you go live so it's very very important even if you're using the simulator you must assume the money you're trading um, uh, is real money all right so no oh, what the heck it's a slow time I fire a couple of trades all right wrong okay you've got to treat it as real money so very very quickly the futures um, uh, is just in my opinion the world's best markets and the fairest and the cheapest when it comes to commissions. you can now even trade um, currency futures um, like the euro for an example uh, uh, through the CME it's uh, I think it's a CME it's 625 a tick and so is the yen your margin uh, with one broker for an example uh, if you're trading euro is $2,100 you've got to open up a minimum of $2,100 uh, the yen there is 3,000 um, some may have lower margins uh, if you go to trade station which is my preferred trading platform you need to open a futures account there with a minimum of five thousand dollars they no longer do Forex by the way uh, you can open account less with trade uh, sorry with ninja trader uh, and by the way in the program and if you've got if you're not quite sure about which trading platform I've recorded a short I think it's about a 10 minute video now on which trading platform just comparing a couple and just talking about trading platforms but remember as a um, professional uh, we need to have the right trading platform so mt4 is great to start with on Forex but if you're going to futures you do, do need to elevate and go to something like ninja trader or trade station and there's a couple of others you can go to now just quickly then on Forex so Forex you can start with what's very important as you build your account is your broker a market maker do they have a dealing desk um, uh, you want an ECN broker straight through processing not so essential when you're trading a mini or a micro account but as you build that's a major consideration on what is the spread because we've done studies which show that if you're a day trader trading Forex your execution costs are closer to 20% of your bottom line compared to less than 5% if you're trading futures all right so it's just a massive difference so that's just very very important 
now let's now go to the charts there's some things on the charts I now wanted to cover now let me just get rid of all of this all right so what we're going to look at here is um, uh, okay this is uh, an important question okay when using range charts I'll just read this out when I use range charts around four to six pips of Forex what should my bigger time frame be good question so on range charts let me explain something which is really unique when you're trading using time based chart or using say a tick chart uh, we use now always uh, an anchor chart now an anchor chart is generally around three times higher a three times higher time frame than what we call our EC our entry chart so what you can see the chart on the left is a euro USD it's what we call a four range the chart on the right is a range bar chart it's a seven range if we were trading a tick based um, chart and now most of the tick charts we use a Fibonacci number based um, and the reason we use fib numbers is so many of our members we've got now in thousands of members around the world and so many of them use fib numbers so therefore I've incorporated fib, fib numbers but say for an example if you were trading the ES you might use a for your entry chart a 500 tick uh, and then you would use a 1500 tick um, for your anchor chart your higher time frame to refer to for your overall trend direction now in real life I use a 550 and a 1597 now if I made it 500 and 1500 would there be any difference truly as far as trading or profitability no I seriously doubt it would it matter if you didn't use fib numbers no I don't think so but so many traders use fib numbers so I go along uh, just because of the requests so that's on that point so the time frame on a tick chart a time based chart or a volume chart also I will use a time frame three times higher but if you're using a range bar such as we've got here which works really great on the Forex markets okay you would use a four range here and a seven range it's not even quite double so here is what you want to see to make sure you've got the right time frame can you see here traders that I've got hitting my 89 EMA notice how price actions come down it's almost touching the 89 if you look over on the anchor chart can you see how the tail of this candle is almost touching the 34 if we come over here we can see price actions clearly touching the 89 price action over here is clearly touching the 34 this is how you tell whether or not you've got the right time frame set up with range so over here we can see here price action is nearly touching the um, the 89 price action is touching the 34 here it's actually gone through the 89 slightly on my range it's touching actually gone through the 34 so just say if you wanted a longer time frame so a full range is is fair is is really a great time frame for um, uh, day trading Forex but if you wanted to um, say slow it down and use a seven range or whatever figure you, you, you use you might then have a 12 range for your anchor where if you were trading tick or a volume or a time based chart generally speaking if you're using a full range you'd use a 12 range but um, on range it is unique hopefully I'm making sense here so if you want to trade with a four use a seven if you wanted to trade say using an eight range um, uh, chart you would be using a 14 range as your anchor and the big test is if you're bouncing on the 89 on your range you should be bouncing um, uh, on your entry chart you should be bouncing off the 34 on your range now um, now of course when you start getting more as a swing trader you're going to start um, leaning more to using time based charts but um, range work out beautifully for day trading the Forex markets by the way range works great on the futures as well and on stocks but uh, I tend to love it on Forex okay um, let me just see this next question so the question is read the pullback now, um, now if say I'm going to trade like here if you're trading an 89 or a 34b here's the one thing uh, traders if you're going to to trade the bounce I like to see a close over the blow the, the blue trigger line 
if you're trading the rule of two you're going to wait for a close of a second candle now if you wait for a, for a close over the blue trigger line of course you're going to get in slightly later then um, using the strategy which many of the floor traders um, would use is okay you come down you get a reversal candle I know it's white but that actually is a green this is a super scalper let me actually disengage this for you just so I can show you this okay so this is just better for you to see so see how we've had a three candle uh, pullback you've now got a green candle right on the blue line here on that what we call the trigger line now you can put a buy stop order in one tick in this case it's Forex so one um, uh, pip above the high of this candle as long as it's not moving quickly remember if it's really moving um, you'll miss it you might have to use a market order but generally speaking you put a, an order in there now if you want to be more conservative you might wait for the second candle to close uh, or you wait for the super scalp to plot so um, you are waiting for a pullback per, per, uh, preferably to wait for the bounce your 89 there's your 34 etc so I like to use a close over the trigger line to confirm the trade that's just something I like to do um, uh, but if it, just remember the earlier you get into a trade the smaller you'll stop because my recommendation is here saying we're looking at Forex here that your stop is a couple of pips below the closest swing low or above the closest swing high the earlier you get in the smaller your stop loss if say you're getting in up here you've got a larger stop loss if you're in just here you're probably saving yourself three pips all of that um, counts up so um, yes some of the move is over um, just one of the questions from a member so you can get in one tick above um, here for an example come down tick okay we've closed on it you can use a buy stop you can get in there or wait for the close of this one or wait for the super scalper if you be okay to get in one tick above to be stopped in of a trade is going to get you in the earliest but the high risk but you do have a much smaller stop hopefully um, that makes sense now the next point there is is false signals any way to avoid false signals well the biggest false signals you're going to get traders is when you're in a consolidating market or into in a market that has a very very poor trading range as we had on CL today so the best way here is is to make sure that all of your EMAs on both your entry chart as you can see here and on your anchor are fanning apart so what we can see here is traders we have what all of the EMAs are in a nice uptrend and they're fanning what you want to be cautious of is when you see and let's just see if we can find a section here is when we start to see this okay when we see all of the EMAs pulling together yes I know we can form a box and we can trade the breakout that's a strategy yes I know but but generally speaking this is where the alarms start to um, ring so you've got to look at what strategy are you going to use when you get into this zone it's not fanning so if we look here over on the anchor chart notice this here okay so we've got all of the EMAs coming together all right the alarm bell starts to ring okay we're uh, we're losing the trend and look over at your anchor what's happening the same thing is happening on the anchor chart so that's what you want to look at you want to look for a fanning of the EMAs and so there's lots of stuff uh, of course in the membership area and in previous recordings on this particularly in some of the latest recordings we've got on the Google Drive uh, and recordings there for the new members I showed you in those folders there's a ton of stuff there on that so traders uh, we covered a great deal of information today this is actually 53 54 minutes long um, so uh, I know you would have picked up some ideas go back and rewatch it if you need to once again members make sure that you have subscribed if you are a member of a general public or if someone's been naughty and forwarded you this uh, this link please make sure you become a member you can perhaps get an idea of a huge amount of resources that you get this is the last program you'll ever need to invest in and of course we include indicators traders don't go and spend a fortune on indicators this is another discussion for another time but virtually every indicator is a derivative of price and just about every indicator out there that you want you can get for free now anyway because of the internet so once again that's another story so please become a member get my ebooks if you don't already have them and members um, uh, please check keep checking in every week on the Google Drive for new resources but there's lots more exciting stuff on the way thank you very much